सर्फेस एनाटमी अब देड नेक पार्ट थ्री फलोईंग टपिक्स आर इनक्लूडेड इन दिस भिडियो लेट गेट स्टार्ट इट फार्स्ट सार्फेस एनाटमी अब देशियल आर्टरि आफ्टर क्लेंचिंग अब दीथ पालपेट मेसेटर मास बु फिंगार एंड ड्र द एंटर मार्जिन अब देशर मासल फार्स्ट पॉइंट ऑन द इनफिरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द मैंडिबल एट द एंटीरियर इनफिरियर एंगल ऑफ द मेस्टर मासल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेकेंड पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द लैटरल टू द एंगल ऑफ द माउथ थर्ड पॉइंट एल ऑफ द नोज फोर्थ पॉइंट मीडियल एंगल ऑफ द आई Joint first and second point by a tortuous line, and second, third, and fourth point by a slight convex line, almost nearing the ala of the nose. Related question: Which artery give rise to the facial artery, external carotid artery? This is the external carotid artery, and this is the facial artery. It arise a little above the lingual artery which nerve cause the facial artery the marginal mandibular branch of facial nerve superficially run over the artery from behind forward why facial artery is tortuous it originate deep to the platysma and quickly became superficial the tortuous course of this artery allow for more stress during facial action such as mastication what is the branch of facial artery there is a cervical br branches and facial branches from the cervical branches following artery are arises and from facial part following artery are arises which muscle are supplied by the facial artery following muscles are supplied by the facial artery surface anatomy of facial pain first point medial angle of the eye second point just lateral to the ala of the nose third point at the anterior inferior angle of the mesenter muscle fourth point anterior inferior to the angle of the mandible join this line so this is the facial vein this is facial artery and this is facial vein surface anatomy of the internal jugular vein first point in front of the tragus second point sternal end of the clavicle join this point by thick line surface anatomy of the external jugular vein first point just below the angle of the mandible second point mid point of the clavicle join this point so these are the location of the these are the location of the internal jugular vein and this is the location of external jugular vein this is external jugular vein superficial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle when you remove the sternocleidomastoid muscle we found internal jugular vein surface anatomy of the subclavian vein first point slightly medial to the mid point of the lower border of the clavicle this is the lower border of the clavicle this is mid point and slightly medial to the mid point of the clavicle second point sternal end of the clavicle surface anatomy of the external and internal carotid artery 
first point anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle at the level of upper border of thyroid cartilage or laryngeal prominence next point midpoint between the tip of the mastoid process and angle of the mandible join this point this is the external carotid artery in this section this is the external carotid artery and this is two terminal branch of the external carotid artery maxillary artery and superficial temporal artery surface anatomy of internal carotid artery first point anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle at the level of upper border of thyroid cartilage or laryngeal prominence second point the posterior border of the condyle of the mandible or you can say in front of the tragus join this point this is common carotid artery this is external carotid artery this is internal carotid artery and this is internal jugular vein so these are the location of the external and internal carotid artery surface anatomy of the medial meningeal artery or terion first point in front of the tragus second point 2 cm above the midpoint of the zygomatic arch third point from the anterior division and terion 3.5 cm behind and 4 cm above the frontal zygomatic suture fourth point midpoint of the nasium and inion here fifth point for posterior division of the middle meningeal artery 7 cm above from the external occipital protuberance at the lambda join the first and second for the middle meningeal artery the third point for terion join the first second third and fourth point for anterior division and for posterior division join the first second and fourth point so this is the summary of the middle meningeal artery and terion this is all about surface anatomy of the head neck part 3 if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you for watching